an important announcement. Car number GJ06 HS6011, GJ01 RU7736, and GJ01 KW2517. इसको आपने जहाँ भी पार्क की है, वहाँ से आप इसको नंबर निवेदन है कि हटा दी जाए। I repeat the numbers: GJ06 HS6011, GJ01 RU7736, GJ01 KW2517. Kindly remove these cars from the roadside, wherever it is being parked. Thank you. This is Investor Roundtable Conference 2022 May. I'm your host, Dhwani, for this morning, and I thank you for joining us for the Investor Roundtable Conference 2022 under the chairmanship of Sri Piyush Goyalji, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, and Textiles. Through this conference, NICDC wishes to highlight about features of the project, availability of developed land parcels, land allotted till date and the major policy decisions undertaken by SPV to offer land at competitive prices along with future map so that with the investors community the development of the NICDC will accelerate and once the industries and manufacturing units will develop the NICDC will gear up also. So come on, we start conference of today's conference from a documentary film. When the world is accelerating into an innovation-driven age. When urbanization is moving at the speed of light. When industries are thriving ahead of the curve. The need arises to plan a city of the future. Where planning meets opportunity. Where happiness index is a benchmark for growth. Dhalera, India's own global smart city. What began as a vision is now transforming into a reality. The bold imagination of creating a greenfield industrial city in India has now come alive. Spanned across an area of 920 square kilometers, Dholera is built on the strong foundation of ICT-enabled integrated greenfield smart city. Dholera has a self-sustaining ecosystem of international standards consisting of functional green spaces, residential living, industrial zone, social amenities, physical infrastructure and tourism-centric spots. Strategically located in Gujarat, one of the most progressive states of India, Dholera is situated on the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor and connected to the dedicated freight corridor. Dholera boasts of a 360-degree connectivity through upcoming projects like four-lane expressway between Andhavad and Dholera, MRTS, Bhimnath Dholera Freight Rail Line and Dholera International Airport. SCADA enabled smart water management system and comprehensive solid waste management system has been set up at Dhalira along with storm water management, water treatment plant, common effluent treatment plant and sewage treatment plant which will ensure availability of potable water and treated water for industries. LNT has been at the forefront of uh, executing various tough, massive and challenging projects. But what we have seen at Dholera is nothing less than an engineering marvel. In order to address the futuristic energy needs of the smart city, a robust network of uninterrupted power supply is taking shape across Dholera, offered at the lowest power tariff in the entire country. Torrent will contribute to the development of Dholera as a truly world-class city by developing state-of-the-art power infrastructure, which will enable us to provide reliable and safe power at one of the lowest power tariffs in the country. Along with the provision of natural gas supply, the work for harnessing the renewable sources of energy is going on at a full swing in Dhalira. A splendid capacity of 5,000 megawatt solar park has been planned here 
out of which 1000 megawatt is already implemented. At Dhalera Park, where there is a huge industrialization which is being planned, along with a very well-planned solar park, is going to make this whole project a unique, not only in this country, but in the world. Dhalera's focus on establishing its identity as one of the most livable cities in India is reflected in its unique people-centric spaces like canal front, dedicated areas for social infrastructure and sustainable urban transportation. Taking a lead in the same direction, the government of Gujarat has ensured ease of doing business through fast-track governance, single-window approvals and time-bound clearances for entire Dhalira SIR. Furthering Gujarat's identity of a policy-driven state, the Gujarat Industrial Policy 2020 offers significant incentives including up to 12% return of fixed capital investment to industries in the thrust sectors and various subsidies to MSMEs and service sectors. The recently announced Gujarat Solar Power Policy 2021 also aims to reduce the power costs of industrial units by around 50% by removing the capacity ceiling for setting up a solar project in the state. The infrastructural work is nearing completion in the activation area at Dhalira. The administrative and business centre for Dhalira that functions as the nerve centre is already operational with smart amenities and will soon accommodate state-of-the-art command and control centre and skill development centre. Land parcels with plug-and-play setup are ready for allotment with required availability of construction power and water. With this readiness of creating opportunities for new India, Dhalira will soon be a home to a variety of dynamic industries from sectors like heavy engineering, automobile and auto ancillary, defense and aerospace, electronics, pharmaceuticals and biotechnology, agro and food processing and information technology services. Adding to the glory of Dhalira, the government of Gujarat has recently announced Gujarat Special Education Region to be developed here as a global education hub, welcoming some of the most reputed universities and colleges from across the world. With a massive magnitude of developmental work taking shape each day, Dhalira is turning into a reality and is now ready to welcome you and your aspirations. Live, work and flourish in Dhalira. Dhalira, India's own global smart city. We wish good luck to Dhalira. The development work of National Industrial Corridor is going on in full pace and we shall witness this through a documentary film on National Industrial Corridor Program. Steady migration from the rural areas to metros and bigger cities has led to an unplanned urbanization causing a severe strain on the urban infrastructure. Though urbanization is inevitable, the choice is to undertake planned urbanization or leave cities to swell in natural progression. To meet the increasing demand for urban areas, facilitate economic growth and increase the share of manufacturing in India's GDP and to generate more employment opportunities, the creation of new cities with world-class infrastructure is the need of the hour. Addressing these issues, a massive project is already underway, which is now the cradle for development of a new India. An India that is smart, that is connected. An India that is becoming a model to the world. This was made possible with the vision of India's one of the largest infrastructure program, the National Industrial Corridor Development Program. The aim of this program is to develop Greenfield Industrial Smart Cities in India, which can compete with the best manufacturing and investment destinations in the world. 
The cities are being developed using state-of-the-art world-class infrastructure which is future-proofed by adopting best-in-class next-generation technologies. The program is aimed at providing impetus to planned urbanization in India with manufacturing as the key economic driver. बीते सालों में चार इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर शुरू हो चुके हैं और अब ऐसे कॉरिडोर्स की संख्या को एक दर्जन तक बढ़ाया जा रहा है अब देश की इंडस्ट्री को ऐसी सुविधाएं देने का प्रयास है जो प्लग एंड प्ले इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर से युक्त हो यानी देश और दुनिया के निवेशकों को सिर्फ अपना सिस्टम लगाना है और काम शुरू करना है ऐसी ही सुविधाओं के निर्माण से भारत दुनिया की बिजनेस कैपिटल बनने का सपना साकार कर सकता है दीज सिटीज आर प्लान बाय लेवरेजिंग द एग्जिस्टिंग एंड प्लान इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेस्टर्न एंड ईस्टर्न डेडिकेटेड फ्रेट कॉरिडोर्स एक्सप्रेसवेज नेशनल हाईवेज एंड अदर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बैकबोन्स The program has been conceptualized in line with the PM Gati Shakti vision for providing multimodal connectivity infrastructure to various economic zones encompassing roads railways ports airports gas pipelines power networks telephone optic fiber lines etc this integrated and seamless connectivity will reduce the time and cost of transportation and will facilitate the last mile connectivity it will make india globally cost competitive and will help in attracting investments into manufacturing sector from across the globe it will also boost exports by increasing the share of domestic manufactured goods in the global value chains the program is based on the principle of cooperative federalism with sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas sabka prayas as the mantra It covers 11 industrial corridors spanning the length and breadth of the country with 32 projects spread over 18 states proposed to be developed in a phased manner. The main focus is on creation of infrastructure ahead of demand, improving logistics, building sustainable and resilient infrastructure to fulfill the objective of Atmanirbhar Bharat. These greenfield industrial smart cities provide plug and play infrastructure like water, power, ICT connections and waste collection at the plot level. The master plan of these cities with the detailed engineering of utilities has been carried out with the perspective of next 40 to 50 years and are ICT controlled, operated and can be managed through a central command and control center. Before the land allotment process these projects are completely de-risked by securing land and obtaining all necessary clearances and approvals including environment clearances this has resulted in faster turnaround for industries to set up their manufacturing units a single window clearance system further ensure ease of doing business to the investors sustainable development practices like adoption and promotion of renewable energy sources state of the art water sewage and waste treatment plants etc make these cities self sufficient these cities promote multi product and multi sectorial industrial parks with only restriction to industries which are highly polluting in nature the program is further supported with the state of the art logistics infrastructure provided through multimodal logistics parks a walk to work concept with a secure and safe environment makes these cities a dream come true for many a holistic approach to development through an integrated city planning will make these cities rank high on the ease of living index four greenfield smart cities have already been developed and the process of land allotment has started Infrastructure packages worth rupees 9000 crore have been awarded and are under various stages of completion. Many industries have actually started commercial production and many are in the process of setting up of their factories. Approximately 3000 acre of developed land for industrial use and 3000 acre for commercial, residential, institutional purposes is available for immediate allotment. 
On similar lines, various other projects are underway across the nation. The authorities are actually reaching out to us in terms of understanding where we stand, what are our requirements, etc. So there is a proactive approach. One is their keenness to approach us, to understand what is our problems and provide solutions through uh, these net-based services. So that is really helping. So first plan approval was fast, consent to establish was fast and power connection was fast. So I could speed up the construction time. What has been constructed certainly is of uh, excellent quality. So there is a lot of reasons why we believe that what has been planned, which is a world-class infrastructure, is actually taking shape in front of us. They have a good administrative system and they are working almost like a corporate. If we ask something, they to action immediately. My friend from, from Korea, from China, from, U, from Europe, I always recommend you can make it in India. These greenfield industrial smart cities will catalyze and transform India and will mark India's rise by enabling India to grow into a global hub for manufacturing. Indeed, a very insightful and informative film. We wish best of luck to NICDC. Now to officially kickstart the event, I would like to invite Sri Abhishek Chaudhary, Vice President, Corporate Affairs, NICDC, to deliver his welcome address. Over to you, sir. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sparing your time for attending this uh, Investor Roundtable Conference organized by NICDC in collaboration with our SPV here, Dolera Industrial City Limited. Uh, National Industrial Corridor Development Corporation extends a very warm welcome and hearty welcome to all the dignitaries present here today. In the series of these Investor Roundtable Conference being organized all over the country, this is the third conference which has been organized after our conference in Delhi and Kochi. Probably we'll be doing similar conferences in Mumbai and Bangalore. These conferences are organized to sensitize the prospective investors about the availability of plug and play land parcels uh, in four of the cities which has already been delivered by NICDC, which is Dhulera in Gujarat, Shendra Bitkin in Maharashtra, Integrated Industrial Township at Greater Noida, and Integrated Industrial Township Vikram Udyogpuri in Madhya Pradesh. As you must be aware that National Industrial Corridor Development Program is India's pioneering infrastructure program aiming to develop new industrial cities as the smart cities from the scratch and converging with the next gen uh, technology to leapfrog and to take the infrastructure development to a world class level. The National Industrial Corridor projects are getting developed on the overall framework of PM Gati Shakti with multimodal connectivity as the key uh, important aspect to the planning. On behalf of NICDC and Government of Gujarat as well as uh, our SPV Dhulera, I would like to extend my heartfelt welcome to Shri Piyush Goyal, sir, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Textiles, who is going to arrive very soon. Shri Bhupen Patel, sir, Honorable Chief Minister Gujarat, who has already come and will be in front of all of you very soon. Shri Jagdish Vishwarma, sir, Honorable Minister for Industries in Gujarat, uh, he has also come. Shri Rajkumar, Additional Chief Secretary, Home Department, Industries and Mines Department in Government of Gujarat. Shri Amritlal Meena, Special Secretary, Logistics, Government of India and C1 MD of NICDC, Shri Harish Shukla, Managing Director of Dhulera Industrial City Development Limited, Shri Suren Singh, CEO Greater Noida Authority and C1 MD of our SPV in Greater Noida, IIT GNL, Shri Suresh Kakani Ji, MD of uh, our Aurangabad Industrial Township, members of industry associations from CII, FICCI, SOCHAM, PhD Chamber of Commerce, friends from the media and all the existing as well as the prospective investors and attendees who have spared their valuable time to attend this event. Through this conference, NICDC aspires to provide an insight on how these new cities are playing a pivotal role in infrastructure development in Indian subcontinent, along with the future roadmap specifically aimed for investor community. I am hopeful that with the support of the state government of Gujarat, we will be able to take the industrial landscape in the state to another level. Hope you all have a great afternoon today. Thank you so very much. Thank you.
Thank you so much, sir, for your warm welcome words. We appreciate them. Ladies and gentlemen, now we will proceed with brief presentations on plug and play infrastructure and available land parcels in the state of Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. With great respect, I would like to invite on the dais Sri Harit Shukla, IS, MD Dholera Industrial City Development Limited for presentation on Dholera Special Investment Region. Over to you, sir. Good morning, uh, very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces and we have also been very fortunate to host most of you in Dholera. So I'll be speaking very briefly about Dholera and especially the recent developments which have taken place in last three to six months and what is the future planning. It's a very brief presentation, mainly covering through photographs. So as you all know that Dholera is part of DMIC phase one. In phase one, there were eight nodes which were planned and Dholera is the biggest node in DMSI, DMIC phase one. It's a greenfield smart city being developed in Gujarat. The total area planned is more than 920 square kilometers. This is probably two to three times size of Ahmedabad. It concludes roughly 22 villages of Dholera Taluka in Ahmedabad. Next. Sorry. So, uh, as I said, uh, Dholera covers more than 920 square kilometers of area, Dholera SIR, which has been done under a special regulatory framework. Gujarat has come out with a SIR Act under which certain areas are declared as special investment regions, where, as you are all aware, in uh, Gujarat we have system of land pooling through TP and DP. We do the development of these areas. The entire special investment region of Dholera is 920 square kilometers and through a TP scheme development, which is uh, this area is being developed. The first phase is what we call activation area is 22.4 square kilometers. And the second part of development will be along the new expressway, which is coming up, especially from Ahmedabad to Dholera. As you can see on the map, there is a lot of green area. So out of the total 920 square kilometers of area, we are going to develop 422 square kilometers of area. Rest of the entire area would be open or green area. So this is a totally green uh, smart city which is being developed. If we just talk in very brief about the projects in and around Dholera, I'll be talking uh, separately about these projects also, but just to give you a brief, the next international airport of Ahmedabad is coming just next to Dholera SIR. It is a two runway project, it's already being approved and the work has started. I'll show the photographs in next slides. Ahmedabad Dholera four lane expressway work has also started. It's a special uh, project approved with new alignment from Ahmedabad connecting to Dholera, which will reduce the travel time from Ahmedabad to Dholera to less than probably 60 to 70 minutes. Activation area is the core area. Out of the entire 920 square kilometers area, we have taken up roughly 22.54 square kilometers of area in which we have done world-class infrastructure. This area mainly is uh, consists of industrial zone, but also has residential zone and high access corridors. Then we have uh, all the regulatory in, uh, clearances for a solar park of 4,400 megawatt, uh, out of which 300 megawatt solar park has already, already been commissioned and re the rest of the area will now be developed. Besides that, uh, multimodal transport hub is also being planned in Dholera. The next work which you have taken up is connecting Dholera through rail connectivity to Bhimnath, which is the nearest station uh, of the Western Railway. So through Bhimnath Dholera connectivity, we will be connecting Dholera to Delhi Mumbai Freight Corridor. This work is also in progress and we'll talk about it. And the last is a logistic park just next to the Dvimna Dolera Park, we have planned a logistic park. Just to briefly give you an idea, plug and play infrastructure, which, we, which is a common feature of NICDC, and I am really very, very thankful for, to NICDC for giving us this opportunity to have this program and become a kind of co-host in this program. NICDC has uh, come up with this concept and developing these industrial towns along the, uh, and, uh, along the corridors 
And the common feature has been this plain, uh, plug and play uh, infrastructure, which is there in Dholera also. Infrastructure has been benchmarked to the best global practices in the world. The road network, as you know, <coughs> road network, as you know, is used as a utility corridor. So all the utilities are basically below the road, whether it is uh, gas pipeline, power uh, uh, ducts, or uh, uh, sewerage systems, re uh, recycled water. Everything is uh, below the uh, road, and that is being used as a utility corridor. Every 200 meters, you have uh, property connections for all these things. So it's a plug and play concept which was earlier in IT has been carried forward into industrial states now and every plot in Dholera will have the utilities ready from day one. Just to, I'll quickly go through some of the photographs. Uh, this is uh, our administrative building and uh, the basically, as you know, uh, in Dholera, uh, Torrent Power is the second uh, transmission company which has the distribution right. They have already developed 66 kV substation and 40 kV substations. These are the photographs. They will also be making a presentation as a part of uh, uh, today's seminar. In Dholera, uh, CPT and STP are being developed by LNT. CT, uh, CTP is 20 MLD capacity and it can be upgraded to 60 MLD with uh, all the availability of land and everything is there. STP similarly is 10 MLD capacity and can be upgraded to 30 MLD at the same location. So that is how it has been planned uh, to scale up with the requirements. Water tanks and everything as you can see are ready for the recycled water and the portable water. Separate systems are there. These are some of the photographs of Ahmedabad uh, Dholera Expressway being built. So the work on the expressway of, uh, of connecting Ahmedabad to Dholera has started on ground. It's a greenfield alignment of 110 kilometers. It consists of four packages out of which the fourth package is in uh, Dholera and roughly 15% of the work is over. The target date of completion of uh, Dholera Expressway is December 23. So we hope to complete the project by then. The airport, uh, which has a two runway each of more than 400, uh, 4,000 uh, uh, meters of uh, runway, uh, that also has been approved. The work order for this has also been given on 13th of July, 22, and it is uh, the next airport will be complete uh, in next four years, so it will be operational in 25, 26. We are very confident about it now because that the uh, all the approvals are in place, and also we have given the work order in July. So the work will start very soon and all the, what you can say, speculation about the airport is now over. This is work is, uh, has started on ground. I'll just quickly show some of the photographs. This is the approach road that we are already doing for the airport and also we are doing a garland canal to protect the entire area. The, that uh, canal work is almost 80-90% complete. Now the uh, actual work on the slide site will start immediately after the monsoon season. This is the photograph of the solar park. This is existing uh, photograph from the solar park. Uh, Tata Power has already commissioned 300 megawatt solar park in uh, Dholera. It, the work has already started. The next phase, uh, work which we have taken up uh, is after the airport and the Dholera Expressway, we are going to start the rail connectivity from uh, Bhimnath to Dholera and will connect Dholera through rail connectivity also. We are being ably supported by a lot of policies of government of Gujarat. Besides the industrial policy, IT, ITS policy, you are all aware that recently Gujarat has come up with a very, very attractive semiconductor policy, specially aimed to bring investment of semiconductor units in Gujarat. Some of the provisions are that 75% of the land will be subsidized for semiconductor plants in Dholera, plus 40% additional capex assistance beside the government of India uh, assistance and subsidy uh, for uh, uh, basically water and uh, electricity rates. So the water and electricity charges have been fixed and subsidized, it's, which are very, very competitive. As of now, we have allotted land to Tata Chemical, Renew Power, Torrent Power, and uh, I'll show the photographs. This is the factory under construction. First factory which is coming up in Dholera is Renew Power. Uh, I, I think we, I just had a talk with them. They are very confident to make it operational by March to June next year. This is the actual photograph of the site. Other uh, applicants for uh, land are already there in place. We had inquiries from, uh, we, the, these are the people who have already made a formal application and deposited initial amounts for land in Dholera, Vedanta, Chiripal, Avada, Polycab, and Fine Organics. We are very confident that 
these uh, will be part of Dholera project very soon and post monsoon, many of them will be starting their plants in Dholera. Uh, we have also been very fortunate to get a lot of awards, Geospatial Excellence Award, IGBC Green City Rating. And Dholera is India's first platinum rated green city. I kept my presentation very short and just wanted to expose to you the recent developments. Now that we have reached this stage, we are very, very confident with expressway coming up, the work already started on ground, railway connectivity is also going to start, and the airport tender has been awarded. So all the places, all the things are in place, and Dholera is set for development. Once again, I'll thank NICDC and Government of Gujarat for giving us this opportunity to be able to talk to all of you. If you have any questions and answers, we'll be happy to reply. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for that insightful presentation of yours. We wish good luck to Dholera. With due respect, I now invite on the dais Sri Surendra Singh, CEO, Greater Noida Industrial Development Authority, and CEO and MD, Integrated Industrial Township, Greater Noida Limited, for presenting his presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning and namaskar to all of you. Before talking about the IIT GNL Greater Noida, I would like to speak about Uttar Pradesh because that is the most important thing which I want to tell you here. Everybody knows UP is the sixth largest country in the world if it is treated as a country. So huge human resources here. We are proud to tell you that it is a land of Lord Rama, Bhagwan Krishna, Lord Buddha, and wonder of the world, Taj Mahal. But from investor point of view, this is not very important. What is important from investor point of view is Uttar Pradesh is now great state in the terms of infrastructure development. We have the largest network of the expressway, whether it is Agra Lucknow Expressway, Delhi Agra Expressway, Bundelkhand Expressway, Purvanchal Expressway, and the upcoming Ganga Expressway, and many more expressway. Right now we have 1,200 kilometer network of the expressway. And the township which we are talking about, IIT GNL is again surrounded by three expressway, Peripheral Expressway, Delhi Muradabad Expressway, and Yamuna Expressway. In recent time, we have operationalized many airports. Earlier we were having only four functional airports, now we are having nine functional airport. And the upcoming international airport, which is developed by Zurich International Airport Private Limited, is just half an hour away from the IIT GNL site, which is in Greater Noida. Right now, uh, we have, uh, we are second best state in ease of doing business. So that shows our commitment, commitment of the government towards investor. We have, we are uh, one of the fastest growing economy in country. We have many more parameters which shows that Uttar Pradesh is a, one of the most favorite destination for the investor. Now we come to IIT GNL. Please start the presentation. The IIT GNL Greater Noida is again an enclave inside the Greater Noida Authority. And I want to tell you the entire Gautam Budhnagar district which is almost 1,500 kilometers square in size, is having three development authority, which is Noida Development Authority, Greater Noida Industrial Development Authority, and Yamuna Industrial Development Authority. So that makes amazing environment for the investor in the entire area. For the IIT GNL, next. So this is like I told you, we are the second best state in ease of doing business, and we have made a jump of almost 10 positions, right from 12th position to second position in just three years. It was in 2020. Next. Please play the video. Sir, can we wait for a moment before playing the video? Our August guests are arriving on the dais. Surendra, sir, can we wait for a minute, yeah. please? Yeah. Wait for the video. I'm not playing karta, please.
Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs and Food and Public Distribution and Textile, Shri Bhupendra Bhai Patel, Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Gujarat, Shri Jagdish Bhai Vishwakarma, Minister Industry, Government of Gujarat, Shri Raj Kumar, Additional Chief Secretary, Home Department Industries and Mines Department, Government of Gujarat, Shri Amrit Lal Meena, Special Secretary, Logistics, DPIIT and CEO and MD, NICDC. A very warm and hearty welcome to the distinguished dignitaries present on the dais. Thank you for gracing the event with your benign presence. So with due respect, shall we commence the presentation? Yes. You may continue, sir. Uh, good morning. All the honorable dignitary present on the dais, I would like to resume my presentation. I am Suren Singh, CEO, IIT GNL Greater Noida from the government of Tarpur. And uh, I just want, with your kind permission, I just want to continue with my presentation. So this IIT GNL Integrated Industrial Township Greater Noida is located in Gautam Nagar district. And it is basically an enclave between, uh, in, the, in the Greater Noida Authority. So the Greater Noida is known as lungs of the NCR because it is one of the greenest city in the entire country. So Greater Noida is just 30 minute drive from New Delhi. It was incepted in 1991. And the very specific location about our IIT general project is, it is the meeting point of both the Eastern Dedicated Freight Road and the Western Dedicated Freight Corridor at Dadri. As far as regional connectivity of this project is concerned, so we are surrounded by many expressway, many national highway, and many developed industrial park in the entire area. So we are having three projects here. One is IIT GNL, another is multimodal uh, logistic hub, and third is multimodal transport hub. Next. Please play the video. आज सरकार जिस एप्रोच के साथ काम कर रही है उसका एक उदाहरण प्लग एंड प्ले इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का निर्माण भी है अब देश की इंडस्ट्री को ऐसी सुविधाएं देने का प्रयास है जो प्लग एंड प्ले इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर से युक्त हो यानी देश और दुनिया के निवेशकों को सिर्फ अपना सिस्टम लगाना है और काम शुरू करना है जैसे ग्रेटर नोएडा के दादरी में ऐसी ही इंटीग्रेटेड इंडस्ट्रियल टाउनशिप तैयार हो रही है इसको पूर्वी और पश्चिमी भारत के पोर्ट्स से डेडिकेटेड फ्रेट कॉरिडोर से जोड़ा जा रहा है इसके लिए यहां मल्टी मॉडल लॉजिस्टिक हब बनाया जाएगा इसी के बगल में मल्टी मॉडल ट्रांसपोर्ट हब बनेगा जिसमें स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट रेलवे टर्मिनस होगा जिसको इंटर और इंटर स्टेट बस टर्मिनस मिलेगा मास रैपिड ट्रांसिट सिस्टम और दूसरी सुविधाओं से सपोर्ट किया जाएगा देश के अलग अलग हिस्सों में ऐसी ही सुविधाओं के निर्माण से भारत दुनिया की बिजनेस कैपिटल बनने का सपना साकार कर सकता है थैंक यू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड Next. Next. We have already spoken about the regional connectivity. So these are the three sites, IIT GNL in the green color, MMTH and MMLH. All three are along this dedicated freight corridor and also delhi Havra railway line, which was existing. So you can see there are three airports in the vicinity, Delhi airport, upcoming Jaiwar Airport, which is scheduled to be operationalized the next one and a half year, and the Hindon Airport. So this is Eastern Peripheral Expressway, which connect not only the uh, different city of UP, but also the entire NCR. Next. So this is Yamna Expressway connecting Delhi and Agra. And NS09, again, which is, it, is, it has been recently converted into the expressway connecting Muradabad, the industrial city, and the Lucknow. Next. This is a strong road and metro network. So uh, the first township, which is integrated inter industrial township, Greater Noida, it is spread in 747 acre. Multimodal logistic hub, Dadri, is in 823 acre. And the multimodal transport hub, Bodaki, is proposed in 358 acre. Next.
So out of this, uh, in this IIT general area, for the industrial activities, we have, be, we have proposed 332 acre. For the residential activity, 72 acre has been proposed, and the commercial activity, uh, 38 acre have been reserved for the commercial activity, and uh, for other utility, 300 acre have been developed. So in total, there's uh, 747 acre activities. Next. So the, the entire township is a smart township. It is SCADA uh, enabled. There's an ICT command and control center. Everything is regulated by e-governance. There are Wi-Fi at all public places, 24 by 7 CCTV camera surveillance is there. Single window system for all the services. E-land management system is under development. And time-bound decision. And that has resulted into uh, the investment of more than 3,000 crore by the hire, which has provided employment of almost 5,000 people. Changfeng, J World, Fome, GAD, there are many other investors. These all company, uh, hire has already started the production, while Changfeng, J World, Fome, GAD, they are uh, in the final stage of construction. Next. These are the site photographs. We have a wide road with the service lane. There's a provision of cycle track, pedestrian path. All utility are uh, in the duct. There's a state-of-art automated waste collection system which has already been established uh, for the management of the entire uh, municipal solid waste which are being generated here. Next. We have the provision of 24 by 7 water supply. The, uh, the, the quality of water is very good there in this part of uh, Greater Noida. Uh, this is the reservoir. There's a dedicated electrical infrastructure for high quality uninterrupted power supply. It is already functional. Next. Uh, these are the photographs of SCADA based 33 by 11 uh, KV electric service station. They are dedicated RMU for each plot, which are already developed, completely developed, and optical fiber connection for the each plot has been provided. Next. So these are the investment opportunities. Uh, we have the plot of like 4.4 to 7.4 acre size. Uh, five plots are available. From 30,000 square meter to 42,000 square meter, seven plots are available. And six plots are available in the range of 42,000 to 55,000. We are having three payment options. You can have upfront payment option in the next, in, in, in just 90 days. Then these two options are also available. Uh, you can have 40% uh, in advance and rest 50% in the uh, one year. And again, 30% in advance and rest 70% uh, payment you can do in the ne next four years. Next. So this is a multimodal logistic hub which is being developed in Dadri. It is, I think, one of the most important strategic location for the logistic hub as the eastern dedicated freight corridor and western dedicated freight corridor are meeting here. This is a greenfield development project with the total area of 823 acre. Proposed core area is 455 acre. Here the estimated cost of project is 7,000 uh, crore. Out of the EPC component is 2,400 and private developer will come with the investment of 4,626. It will be developed on the uh, DV FOT mode. This project is going to be developed in next 30 years in three phases. Here the STV will, will, is going to develop, is, has already started working on the railway track and terminal station area, approach track, rail over bridge to connect the western uh, DFC yard and other trunk infrastructure. While the developer uh, has been invited for the container stacking area, inland container depot, container equipment maintenance area, bonded and general warehouse for bulk cargo, warehouse for 3PL players and specialized service, so these are the activity which, uh, which opportunities available for the developer. Then we come to MMTH, which is located in Boraki. Here the SPV is going to develop interstate bus terminus, local bus terminal. Here we, the Indian Railway will provide passenger terminal with the station building platform and maintenance yard. Metro will also be connected. Uh, right now the metro connectivity is available uh, just at a distance of one kilometer. That aqua line is going to be extended to the MMTH. And the developer will come with the development of commercial area, including commercial office space, retail and hotel, parking area, and landscaping of the green area. Industrial, next. Industrial investment and employment promotion policy 2017 has resulted into a lot of investment in the entire state. 
we divide the project into different category, mega, mega plus, and super mega. Next, the key highlights of the policy are SGST reimbursement, EPF reimbursement, capital interest subsidy, electrical duty exemption, STEM duty exemption, and infrastructure interest subsidy. We have the umbrella of policy like food processing policy, dairy policy, solar energy, IT and startup policy, ESDM policy, biofuel policy, pharmaceutical policy, warehousing and logistic policy, civil aviation policy, tourism policy, and so many. Next. So in these three projects, we have huge investment opportunity in the NCR area. While the focus industry are white goods and mobile manufacturing, EV manufacturing as Uttar Pradesh is market for the largest EV uh, vehicles, data center, IT and ITA services. Already this Yavna, uh, Noida, Greater Noida and Yavna Authority is being developed as a data center hub, biotechnology, pharmaceutical and medical devices. So I would like to invite all of you to the uh, DMIC IIT GNL. If you find like DMIC IIT GNL is very small in area, then the entire Uttar Pradesh, especially Noida, Greater Noida, and Yamuna Authority is open for the investment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for your informative presentation. We appreciate it. I now take the opportunity to invite on the dais Sri Suresh Kakani, MD, Aurangabad Industrial Township Limited, for presentation on Shendra Bidkin Industrial Area. Over to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, uh, all the dignitaries on the dais, my fellow officers and colleagues, investors and all participants are present here. I'm going to sharing the highlights of the Aurangabad Industrial City. Uh, can you run the presentation, please? Yeah. So Auric is the popular name. Uh, I mean, it is a short form of the Aurangabad Industrial City. Next slide, please. So relatively, it is a uh, very young company, I would say, uh, age around eight years and uh, ATL, but in this eight years, ATL is moved from strength to strength. In the year 2015, we started developing the infrastructure uh, in this city. And uh, in the year 2017, uh, we could allocate or we could allot land to the eight industrial units. And in 2019, the first major FDI uh, in the form of uh, the Hyosung, a South Korean technical textile company, invested around 1,500 crore, having potential of uh, 300 persons employment. And uh, I would happy to share that in the only eight months, that company started from applying for the land uh, to the production. So it is the one of the fastest, uh, I mean, turnaround time for the company to start operating from Auric. Uh, the node has formally launched by Honorable Prime Minister, sir. Uh, Honorable Minister for Commerce and Industry in 2019. And similarly, we also applied for getting the power distribution license. And I'm happy to share, all our infrastructure is in place. I mean, whatever infrastructure, I mean, uh, given mandate uh, to us uh, is completed now. And recently we have got the power distribution license. This company may be the first company uh, to get the power distribution license. This will help us to provide or the supply power at a cheaper rate as compared to the regular power supply rates. Next slide, please. Uh, ATL provides completely underground trunk infrastructure with plug and play facility to all the plots. Uh, we also have complete online and hassle-free process of uh, uh, approvals and where all the services are online. Similarly, uh, we have, uh, as I said, we have the power distribution license in place and Hopefully by next year, by 1st January 2023, we will be able to provide power uh, to, the, to our unit holders at a much uh, competitive rate as compared to the others. And uh, we are also, I mean, though you know, we are dependent on the power supply from the uh, normal or the conventional sources, but we are also targeting the non-conventional sources or the green sources uh, by way of providing uh, solar uh, energy to the unit holders. Uh, at a, a much competitive rates. Uh, as I said, uh, we have the uh, online and transparent uh, approval system. Uh, all permissions for a, a ATIL 
uh, are online, including building plan and tree cutting. And an investor can get all the permission in a span of two to three weeks uh, from the date of application. Uh, we have underground ICT, uh, ICT uh, full suit of ICT integration in the area such as SCADA control utilities and end-to-end -end fiber optic infrastructure. Uh, we have granted the EC, Environmental Clearance by MOEF, uh, and that is uh, in operation, but we are also trying to get the process, uh, getting a complete process level EC from Government of India, and that process is on, hopefully, uh, in a couple of months, we will be able to secure that, that permission, that, pro that clearance as well. Uh, we have set up the fully equipped advanced CTP uh, in both the nodes, because we have two nodes, Shendra and Birkin. Uh, in both the nodes, the CETP are functional and uh, I mean they are running successfully. Uh, water, yes, the 24 by 7 water facility is available. Uh, we are, uh, I mean, taking water from the nearby Jayakwadi Dam. But though we are getting the raw water, but we are also depending or uh, using the recycled water. And the quantum is around 42%. We would like to take it further to 50% so that our 50% of the water requirement can be met through the recycled water. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, Auric is a reliable brand, uh, has proved to be a place where investors uh, have placed uh, their trust and uh, that can be shown by the uh, numbers here. Uh, if you look at the Shendra project in the last five years, uh, it is almost getting saturated. We could allocate 58% uh, of the industrial land and only 42% industrial land is available if we look at the, in terms of the quantum, 138 acres of land is available for uh, allotting uh, to the industrial uh, units. Similarly, the Bidkin, Bidkin node is also coming up. Uh, recently, we could allocate land to the two mega uh, investor, mega unit holders. One is uh, Costco Film, uh, and the other one is uh, Piramal Pharma. And both will start operating from the next year because we are also facilitating uh, uh, their, their, uh, all the permissions in no time. The available land parcels. Now, as I said, we have only 132 acre land available uh, in Shendra node, but we have a state of art, Auric Hall, where we can come uh, for setting up your IT unit or the startup unit. Similarly, the office space is also available there. Uh, it is a plug and play facility for all these units and it is available at the very cheaper and very reasonable rate. From the day one, you can start operating from that place without any hassle. In Bidkin area, we have almost uh, 2,000 acres of land available and we are in dialogue with the various companies and hopefully uh, in a shortest time, uh, we could allocate this land and uh, that would be uh, playing a crucial role for overall socio-economic development of this region. Uh, the next slide, please. Yeah, next slide. So this is the, uh, please stay on the earlier slide. Yes, sir. So the Shendra Olive Hall, as I said, uh, the first floor, second floor, the three, four floors are available for plug and play. So you can set up your, uh, your unit there. Next slide, please. Next slide. Yeah. So this is the indicative photograph of uh, indicating all the facilities which are available and all the facilities are underground. So it is, uh, I mean, uh, a very representative image and all the facilities are uh, depicted there. Next slide, please. Now, we also have submitted our proposal under PM Mitra for setting up 1,000 acre textile park, and that is also in the process of approval. Uh, we are also developing some infrastructure for developing food processing park, and uh, hopefully in six months from now, those infrastructure would be in place, and uh, uh, we can set up uh, food processing units over there. Uh, similarly, this uh, AITL is now, I mean, growing the statewide because we are also targeting Digi industrial port or uh, industrial area development. Similarly, the Satara, the selection of land parcels is in process and hopefully uh, that will uh, come through in soon, uh, in, in no time. Uh, so this is about uh, my presentation. As Honorable Prime Minister Sir always uh, stress upon the inclusive growth, Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas. यहाँ हमारे पास में जो भी इन्वेस्टर्स आते हैं उनको हम हमारा पार्टनर समझते हैं ना कि वो इन्वेस्टमेंट भले इन्वेस्टर है भले कि उनको पार्टनर समझते हैं और उनकी कोई भी दिक्कत हो कोई भी तकलीफ हो उसके साथ हम खड़े रहते हैं क्योंकि हमको ये पता है कि वो अगर बढ़ेंगे तभी हम बढ़ेंगे साथ चलेंगे तभी बढ़ेंगे धन्यवाद आपने मुझे समय दिया और आपके कुछ सवाल अगर रहे क्वेरीज रही 
तो निश्चित रूप से हम आपको उपलब्ध रहेंगे और आपको निराकरण करने का प्रयास करेंगे धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्रेजेंटेशन आज हमारे साथ एन प्रोजेक्ट से जुड़े कुछ विशिष्ट व्यक्ति उपस्थित हैं they will share their experience of working with nicdc and the sbvs and their plans of further investment in the project foremost i would like to welcome mr varun mehta director torrent power limited to talk about his plans for his working with dolera i request all those who are coming over here and doing the presentation kindly keep it short and crisp within 2 and 2 and a half minutes thank you I wish a very good afternoon to Honorable Cabinet Minister Shri Piyush Goyal Saab, Honorable Chief Minister Shri Bhupendra Bhai, Honorable Minister Shri Jagdish Bhai, Shri Raj Kumar, Shri Amrit Lal Meena, and Shri Hari Shukla, and all guests present in the audience. I am honored to be present here today at the Investors Roundtable Conference being organized by NICDC. As we are aware, NICDC is pioneering India's infrastructure program. which is aimed to develop new industrial cities across the country as smart cities in a planned manner which can compete with the best manufacturing and investment destinations in the world same is in line with the honorable prime minister's vision of make in india and atmanirbhar bharat the development of these new industrial cities will create investment avenues employment opportunities and economic growth leading to overall socio economic development I would like to I would like to take this opportunity to give you all a brief over It is probably from the hotel side just Thank you I would like to take this opportunity to give you all a brief overview overview of Torrent Power Yes sir please go ahead thank you I would like to take this opportunity to give you all a brief overview of Torrent Power and its value proposition as a partner in powering the growth story of Dolera Sorry for the inconvenience Sure sir give the cordless please so this is why i won't be able to Hello. share probably i'm sorry about that torrent par is an integrated utility and is one of the largest private sector players they're off already so you can use this if you want i can pass it on to that I can understand. Torrent Power ranks amongst the best run power utilities in the country. It has an operational generation capacity of 4000 megawatts across coal, gas and renewable power. 
and distributes 17 billion units of electricity to over 4 million customers in 11 distribution areas of Ahmedabad, Gandhinagar, Surat, Dahej SEZ, Dholera, Vivandi, Shil Mumra Kalwa, Agra, and the Union Territory of Dadranagar Haveli, Daman and Deev. Torrent's distribution license areas have one of the lowest TND losses of less than 4% and the highest reliability of supply of more than 99.9%. The company offers highly personalized and innovative customer services to enhance customer convenience. Torrent's foray in Dholera began after it was awarded the distribution licensee in October 2018. For us, it has been a very smooth journey as the government of Gujarat has extended all necessary support the union and state governments have also made special efforts and incentives have been made available to develop Dhorela, such as facilitation in terms of land filling, concessional land price uh, being offered to potential investors, the international airport uh, being planned and set up, which we saw some time back, and also the development of the solar power park uh, in the vicinity. In response, Dhorela has received overwhelming response from potential investors. Dholera offers large contiguous land parcels suitable for establishing industrial ecosystem, including manufacturing, research and development, vendor parks, logistics, along with availability of skilled workforce. The unique selling points of Dholera include availability of connectivity with road, rail, port, and international airport, proximity to major cities like Ahmedabad, Gandhinagar, Vadodara, and all-round development that has been planned in areas such as industries, hospitality, education, and residential. Torrent has planned to cater to the demand of Dholera SR by investing already 300 crore. Sorry. Sure. <laughs> right. Sure, sure. Right, sir. Right, sir. No, we've had a very smooth experience working in Dholera. Uh, uh, the land uh, that uh, was required to set up our substations was made available in no time. Uh, there were some issues surrounding the low level of land in Dholera. And uh, the government uh, has taken very proactive steps in terms of announcing l land filling uh, policies where they have made sure that the land comes up to the required level. And as I said, the uh, concessional price for land has already been offered. So that has made the overall uh, approach uh, uh, and experience of an investor like us very, very smooth. And I'm sure it will also be a similar experience for any other potential investors which decide to invest in Dholera. We are thankful to the Ministry of Commerce and Industries, DPIIT, NICDC, who in coordination with government of Gujarat have provided us a opportunity to partner in the growth story of Dholera. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Varun, for sharing your experience with us. Now to share the experience of Auric, I would like to welcome Sri Manoj Mohikar, DGM Sales and Marketing, Orlikon Blazers, Coating Limited, and I request you to kindly keep it crisp for two minutes now. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, myself, uh, uh, Manoj Muhikar from uh, Orlikon Balzers. Uh, with uh, uh, Auric, uh, actually our interaction started somewhere around uh, 2018 when we were basically looking for uh, intermediate uh, plant which can connect to Nagpur region. And uh, basically, we had a very smooth experience with uh, Auric in terms of uh, land acquisition. So we started somewhere around 2018. And uh, we were able to finish our uh, plant SOP somewhere around 2020. Uh, of course, in between, uh, COVID uh, issues were also there. But then still, we were able to finish the uh, entire infrastructure. And uh, the biggest uh, benefit what we are having basically is uh, the centralized uh, effluent uh, treatment. Uh, uh, another is uh, the firefighting, uh, uh, firefighting uh, infra. 
as well as uh, the sewage uh, water treatment. Uh, even the power supply, uh, we have uh, very reliable power supply. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir, and we are happy that you're satisfied. Now would request Mr. Ram Bhogle, Director, Uma Sons Auto, Compo Private Limit, to kindly share his August views. Honorable Shri Piyush Ji Goyal, Shri Bhupendra Bhai Patel, Shri Jagdish Bhai Vishwakarma, and my investor friends. We are a group operating out of Aurangabad for last 60 years. We have three units which export auto components to Europe. In the recent past, we received a lot of interest from BMW Motorrad in Germany for supplying of components with new technology. And the requirement has grown so much that we decided to set up a new plant to manufacture it. For us, the natural choice was Auric City. Apart from the international class infrastructure, it offers excellent processes for application. Our land allotment application was accepted online. Within seven days of our application, we received an invitation to make project presentation online. And within seven days of that presentation being made, we received land allotment later. With the kind of uh, infrastructure, we are sure that we would be operational by 15th of January next year, within five months of the allotment of land to us. All the permissions are already in pipeline, and we expect that our high-class experience would continue to be there when we start operations in Auric City. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your experience. To talk about his experience and plans with IIT GNL, would like to welcome Mr. Su Kuang Victor, Director of Formate Trading Private Limited. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I come from China. Our, it's the main player of the budget segment, mobile phone, in India. And our first journey in India is we start from 2009. We start factory in Gurugram uh, with the 2.8 lakhs mobile phones production per day. And uh, after 2018, we start export some of our budget phone to some other countries. Then we found the big, we, re we believe that India will become the very important manufacturing hub in the world. So this is the reason we decided to expand our manufacturing base. So during we searching where is our home in India, we found the Great Loida. ITG Air is very good because he has a very good plan and very world-class infrastructure. And also, when we get the land allotment and also uh, approval process, we get the huge, because we are foreign people, we get the huge support from the government, from the ITG Air. So the, here, we are very thankful for the MSCIG Air. So this is my experience. So I think this is very good. I believe uh, in India, we can, our company can become bigger and bigger, and India also become, become the bigger and bigger. Thanks. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your experience with our Indian government in India. I would now like to welcome Sri Mitesh Mehta, MD Panchmahal District Cooperative Milk Producers Union Limited, to share his experience with IIT VUL. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, with the due permission of the dignitaries sitting on the dais, I take this opportunity to share the experience of ours in setting up a project at Vikram Udyogpuri Limited in MP near Ujjain Devas. 
So we got the uh, land allotment done in uh, year 2019. So we have set up the project of uh, processing uh, milk and milk products under the brand name Amul at this uh, Vikram Udyogpuri Limited uh, uh, site. And we are setting up a project of uh, processing three to five lakh liters of milk every day and also setting up an ice cream plant which will cater the requirement of the Madhya Pradesh. Now coming to the experience which we had with VUL in terms of the setting up the project, initially the land allotment uh, plot was a bit on a lower side and because we are into the dairy industry wherein we need to discharge a lot of affluent, so that is where we asked the authorities to help us in allocating a different plot and we are very happy to get it done in a short uh, period of time and now we are getting a good plot which will be very useful in terms of having the discharge of our affluent to the connected uh, CETP. So this helps us because within the dairy industry whenever we are operating it is very essential for us that the affluent which gets generated which is in huge quantity get uh, discharged and get handled by the uh, infrastructure support providers so that we can have a better operations. So in terms of uh, water service uh, availability, it is very well available in terms of electricity, in terms of natural gas. So all the utilities requirement for setting up of a project is very well available at the site. And in due course of time, we'll be setting up this project. And I hope that by June 23, we'll be able to have the commencement of the project with uh, all the support extended. And I see a huge uh, parcel of land which is available at VUL and I will be really recommending all the investors to set up their projects in the VUL uh, site because it's a nice site with all the amenities available to support the projects. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for sharing your experience and we wish you good luck. Now with pleasure, I would like to invite Sri Amrit Lal Meena, Special Secretary Logistics, DPIIT and CEO and MD, NICDC to share his August views. Honorable Sri Bhupendra Bhai Patel, Chief Minister, Government of Gujarat. Honorable Sri Piyush Goyal, sir, Honorable Minister. Honorable Sri Jagdish Bhai Vishwakarma Ji, Minister of Industries. Respected Sri Rajkumar Ji, Additional Chief Secretary of Industries. All esteemed guests, I am on behalf of uh, NICDC, Grateful for all of you to have spared time and uh, uh, participated in this investors meet. Under the guidance of the Honorable Minister Commerce and Industry, National Industrial Corridor Development Corporation is developing world-class modern industrial cities across the country. So far, four industrial cities have been developed. The infrastructure have been created. One in Dholera, Auric, uh, Bikram Udhyogpuri and Greater Noida, about which you have seen during the course of presentation. The overall government has approved total 32 such cities to be developed across 18 states. In different states, the state governments are responsible for arranging the land. In many of the projects, land have been arranged. In fact, uh, two of the projects have been bid out where the construction of infrastructure is about to commence and in other states it's in very very advanced states so in 18 states there are industrial townships which will come in future so all of you who are exploring availability of land and this world-class infrastructure may kindly keep uh, contact with the NICDC we will definitely ensure due facilitation as you know honorable prime minister has launched PM Gati Shakti national master plan for providing multimodal connectivity to the economic zones. So all these 32 industrial townships are the economic zones. The multimodal connectivity in the form of rail, road, port and airport connectivity and also the telecom and power, uh, all connectivity for these nodes is being developed. You have seen Dholera and other uh, projects and on the same line for all other projects these facilities are being developed. It's a unique model of uh, development where is a special purpose vehicle is created having almost 50% equity, 50% uh, share of the central government and 50% of the state government. Land is arranged by the state government. The cost of development is met by central government in the form of equity and also debt if required. 
Honorable Minister, Commerce and Industry, during course of review of NICDC, has always advised us and through us, all the SPBs, to take such policy measures which facilitate investors to get land at reasonable price, including land on lease, including uh, payment terms wherein payment is involved in the longer period of time. And we have requested all the SPBs. Many of SPBs have taken according policy decision and it is always an endeavor. Honorable Minister has also directed us to keep in touch with all the investors. So far, in these four industrial townships, 201 uh, allottees have taken land. We have been regularly in touch with them for helping in various forms of clearances and uh, result thereof, the, the possible delays are getting redressed very effectively. We are regularly handholding all the investors and this will continue to be our endeavor. I am extremely grateful to government of Gujarat for extending all support in organizing this investors meet by NICDC and we look forward that uh, in all other states as per the instructions of the Honorable Minister, we'll keep on organizing such investors meet and based on the feedback which we receive during these investors meet, we'll keep on modifying our policies and processes. I look forward for support from all of you and assure from NICDC fullest cooperation and due facilitation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for your August address. I now, with due respect, request Shri Jagdish Bhai Vishwakarma, Honorable Minister for Industries, Government of Gujarat, to deliver his August speech. Over to you, sir. Very good afternoon, all of you. Investor Outable Minutes meeting in the Raja Upastit, Gujarat Na Lokalada, Mukhya Madrasi Pupendra Patel, Central Minister, Commerce and Industries and Consumer Affairs and Food Public and CPUs Goelji, Se Amrit Lalji, Si Rajkumarji, and a Badaj Investor Mitro. Desna Vadabradan, Narendra Modi Ji, Je Vikas Ni Rad, Je Kati Chalu Karidi, and a Vikas Talene. जे रिते समग्र देश नी अंदर जे डेवलोपमेंट थाई रहू छे अने एज रिते आजे ग्रोइंग स्टेट नी अंदर जोई है अपड़े तो गुजरात ये नंबर वन ग्रोइंग स्टेट तरीके उभरिया हुई जित्यारे आजे पियूस गोयल जी स्पेशल अपड़ी वच्चे आवे छे अने जे रिते नरिंद्र भी experience sambada che sathe sathe emna expectation su che ane government of gujarat hoy ke central government hoy e motive sathe chali rahi che ke investors na expectations experience ane sathe sathe kai rite central government or ke state government hoy ane kai rite execute kari sake ena mate satat evu kevay ke visionary ane dynamic vada pradhan si ni ek मोटिव रहे हो जैसे कि भाई इंडिया नो डेवलपमेंट फास्ट डेवलपमेंट कहीं रहता ही सके रूट ऑफ़ द कॉस्ट डेवलपमेंट कहीं रहता ही सके साथ ही साथ है कोई पन डिसीजन लेवा नो होए तो फास्ट डिसीजन नहीं अंदर जेठे देश ना वड़ा प्रधान नरेंद्र मोदी जी ले रहे हैं जी तेवी जेठे गुजरात ना मुख्य देश ना वड़ा प्रधान से करी रहा है चे इंडिया ना कोई पन प्रोजेक्ट हुआ है लीडिंग प्रोजेक्ट हुआ है एम नो ड्रीम प्रोजेक्ट ना तो गिप सिटी एवीज रहते भी जो ड्रीम प्रोजेक्ट चे धोलेरा अने एनु इनोग्रेशन पन ए मान्य वड़ा प्रधान से अने मुख्यमंत्री सी जारे करी रहा है जितारे गुजरात ने अंदर जारे मुख्यमंत्र टेक्सटाइल हब होए, फार्मास्यूटिकल हब होए, केमिकल हब होए, डायमंड इंडस्ट्रीज होए, कदाच आजे मने ये थी कहता, अति इस वक्त नहीं लगे के इंडिया नहीं अंदर, अने एस्पेशियली गुजरात के भी पीन थी लेन प्लान सुधी नहीं, दरेक वस्तु एम मैन्युफैक्चर थे ही रह जाए, 
ड्यू टू ऑफ द गवर्मेंट ऑफ गुजरात एंड गवर्मेंट ऑफ इंडिया सपोर्ट के ईजी टू प्लग एंड प्ले जो अपनी पॉलिसी है ये अंतर्गत आज गुजरात हरणफाड़ ए विकास की गति में आगे बढ़ी रही मित्रों जय इन्वेस्टर राउंड टेबल अंदर पीयूष गोयल जी अपनी वच्चे तरा बदा मित्रों एक्सपेक्टेशन इंडस्ट्रीज एक्सपेक्टेशन शू है इंडस्ट्रीज कई रीत फेसिलिटीज हुई है गुजरात एक एवं पहलू स्टेट है ज्या लैंड बेक अवेलेबल थी है एज रीते देश वाप्रधान श्री सेंट्रल में वर्ल्ड में कोईपण लोग इन्वेस्टर्स ने आ वर्ल्ड इंडिया कोईपण स्टेट अंदर इन्वेस्ट, इन्वेस्ट करवूँ है तो एना लैंड बेक फेसिलिटीज एक आखी ऊबी कर मित्रों देश ने स्टार्टअप पॉलिसी हो ये अंतर्गत एवं जवाइए तो कदाच आप आत्मनिर्भर भारत बना जयरे आखी कंट्री आखू वर्ल्ड जयरे कोरोना अंदर एक फेस में पसार थी रू तू तर आत्मनिर्भर वर्ड ए आप काम देश वाप्रधान नरेन्द्र मोदी जीए कर आत्मनिर्भर भारत अंतर्गत मेक इन इंडिया हो लोकल टू वोकल हो बदाज ड्रीम प्रोजेक्टों ने परिपूर्ण करने गुजरात सरकार पर तत्पर है मैंने कहता आनंद है जटाप इन्वेस्टर मित्रों आज हाजर है जेप डिग्निटीज अँ हाजर है बिहाफ ऑफ द सी एम सर हूँ इन्वाइट करूँ छू कि एक वक्त धोलेरा विजिट जरूर करवी जी धोलेरा जे लेवले इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट करूँ एवं कहवा कि भाई वाई पीपल इन्वेस्ट इन द धोलेरा सर देर इज अ फाइव सी फाइव सी कनेक्टिविटी के भाई इंडिया फर्स्ट ग्रीनफील्ड सीटी तरीके धोलेरा बनवा जा रही तरह बेस्ट रेल कनेक्टिविटी अहमदाबाद टू धोलेरा बेस्ट एर कनेक्टिविटी इंडिया सैकंड लार्जेस्ट इंटरनेशनल एरपोर्ट बनवा जा रही है एज रीते एक्सप्रेस वे कनेक्टिविटी टू फिफ्टी मीटर्स अढ़ी सौ मीटर न वाइडन एक्सप्रेस वे ए धोलेरा सर सीटी थी पहुँचवा जा रो फ्रेट रेल कनेक्टिविटी इज द बेस्ट फ्रेट रेल कनेक्टिविटी इन अवेलेबल इन फॉर धोलेरा सी कनेक्टिविटी एक्सपोर्ट मे खूब मोटू एवं कहवा कि जो लोथल अपनी संस्कृति थी पांच हज़ार वर्ष पहला ए वक्त गुजरात एक्सपोर्ट करने लोथल देश वाप्रधान नरेन्द्र मोदी जी आखा लोथल ने फरी रिकन्स्ट्रक कर रीडेवलप करने जैसे जा रहा है ये पांच हज़ार वर्ष पहला अपनी जो एक्सपोर्ट की कनेक्टिविटी आज गुजरात इंडिया लार्जेस्ट जो एक्सपोर्ट मुवमेंट थाय सौ हाइएस्ट पोर्ट ए मोर देन फोर्टी टू पोर्ट अवेलेबल इन गुजरात एट्लाज आज वे समय न लेता अपने पीयूष गोयल जी ने मान्य मुख्यमंत्री मैं सांभवा है बिहाफ ऑफ द सी एम साहेब एवं चौक्स कहीश प्लीज कम इन गुजरात स्टे इन गुजरात इन्वेस्ट इन गुजरात गुजरात सरकार बधीज रीते इंडस्ट्रीज साथ हम हूँ सी एम साहेब जैसे रस्ता में आता था तरह हमें सरस वस्तु कीधी कि इंडस्ट जय मे तरह वारंवा कह दिया है कि इंडस्ट्रीज मित्रों ने कोईपण प्रकार की मुश्किल ना पड़े एनु सौ पहलू ध्यान ये आप रखवा इंडस्ट्रीज मित्रों जटाप मेक्सिम इन्वेस्टमेंट गुजरात अंदर हे तो ज कदाच गुजरात ग्रोथ हो साथ इंडिया ग्रोथ हो देश वाप्रधान श्री जो स्वप्न है आत्मनिर्भर भारत और मेक इन इंडिया ए दिशा में चौक्स मित्रों आगे बढ़ी सकूँ तो भारत माता की जय माननीय मंत्री श्री आपने महिता सब महिती सब हर वक्त वे माटे आपने खूब खूब आभार हवे हों खूब आदर ने सम्मान साथ है आपने गुजरात ना माननीय मुख्यमंत्री श्री भूपेंद्र भाई पटेल ने ते उन्हें वक्त वे माटे आवकार आपूछो राज्य ना पाटनगर गांधीनगर ने आंगण आयोजित आज इन्वेस्टर राउंड टेबल कॉन्फरेंस में मरी साथ मंच पर उपस्थित केन्द्रीय मंत्री श्री पीयूष गोयल जी मार साथी उद्योग सहकारिता मंत्री श्री जगदीश भाई विश्वकर्मा खास सचिव केन्द्र सरकार श्री अम अमृतलाल मीणा अमरा अधिक मुख्य सचिव श्री राजकुमार जी उद्योग जगत ना सौ अग्रणीशी रोकाणकारों प्रेस मीडिया ना मित्रों सौ ने मरा नमस्कार गांधी और सरदार की भूमि एवं वाइब्रंट गुजरात आ धराव पर आप सबन हूँ स्वागत करूचु गुजरात 
सदियों थी व्यापार वणज मे जाणीत राज्य है देश विदेश में व्यापार करने गुजरात सौ का जूनों इतिहास वाप्रधानशी मार्गदर्शन में कंडारेला विकास मार्गे चाली ने अपने गुजरात ने मोस्ट प्रिफर्ड डेस्टिनेशन फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट बनाव एक समय गुजरात औद्योगिक विकास फ्त तापी थी वापी सुधी सीमित हो आज गुजरात दरेक जिला यूनिक औद्योगिक उत्पादन थी आगवी ओख साथ धरावे भारत सरकार विविध मपदंडों ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस लॉजिस्टिक परफॉर्मंस इंडेक्स गुड गवर्नस इंडेक्स एक्सपोर्ट प्रिपेन्डेस तथा स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम में गुजरात वर्षो थी टोचना स्थाने रू है गुजरात फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट में देशन प्रथम क्रमकन राज्य बनु वीस वर्ष में गुजरात में एम एस एम ई उद्योग की संख्या जे बेइट चुम्बोतेर लाख थी ए वी ने आठ पॉइंट छासठ लाख थी औद्योगिक उत्पादन पज रीते एक पॉइंट सत्यावीस लाख करोड़ सोल पॉइंट ओग ओग लाख करोड़ जटलू थे गुजरात की आ सीद्धिओ वाप्रधान श्री नरेन्द्र भाई मोदी नेतृत्व ने आभारी है तम मार्गदर्शन में आज गुजरात देशन ग्रोथ एंजीन बनु गुजरात सर्वोत्तम औद्योगिक विकास पाया में नागरिकों की मेहनत और सरकार की नीति रीति रहे वायब्रंट गुजरात ग्लोबल समिट की श्रृंखला योजी ने वाप्रधानश्रीए गुजरात में रहे बिजनेस ऑपोर्चुनिटी उजागर करती दिशा दर्शन में गुजरात आठ एम एस आई आर नयोजन पार पड़ू है देश और दुनिया जय वैश्विक मंदिर की विपरीत असरो में था तेवा समय आदरणीय मोदीजीए गुजरात में इंटरनेशनल फाइनांस टेक्स सीटी गिफ्ट सीटी पाया नाख्या ताजेतर में हस्ते इंटरनेशनल बुलियन एक्सचेंज की शुरुआत थी गुजराते वर्ल्ड बिजनेस और स्टॉक मार्केट मेप पर अग्रिम स्थान मेड़ू है भविष्य स्मार्ट इंडस्ट्रीअल सीटी धोलेरा सर पेलू विचार बीज जे हमें झड़प थी वटवृक्ष बनी रू नौ सौ वीस स्क्वेर किलोमीटर में फैलालू आ फ्यूचरिस्टिक सीटी आना समय में गुजरात और भारत सौ अति आधुनिक औद्योगिक केन्द्र बन सई शंका नहीं राज्य सरकार धोलेरा सरना विकास मेटे स्पेशल पर्पज वेहीकल की रचना करी है अं उद्योगों प्लग एंड प्ले सुविधाओं उपलब्ध है स्ट्रेटेजिकली लोकेशन ने कारण धोलेरा उज्ज्वल भावी सुनिश्चित है धोलेरा सर खाते इंटरनेशनल एरपोर्ट निर्माण की मंजूरी केन्द्रीय कैबिनेटे आप दी थी एक्सप्रेस हाईवे निर्माण मे नेशनल हाईवे ऑथोरिटी कार्यरत है धोलेरा भीमनाथ रेलवे प्रोजेक्ट मे जमीन संपादन आगामी छ महीना में पूर्ण कर मैं विश्वास है कि आंतरराष्ट्रीय कक्षा इंफ्रास्रक्चर ने कारण धोलेरा सर दिल्ली मुंबई इंडस्ट्रीअल कोरिडोर सौ मौका भाग बनी रहे प्रधानमंत्री गतिशक्ति नेशनल मस्टर प्लान हो मल्टी मॉडल कनेक्टिविटी धोलेरा सर देश की विकास यात्रा में माइल स्टोन साबित हो रोड रस्ता वॉटरवे एरवे रेलवे सहित लॉजिस्टिक सैक्टर्स द्वारा पीएम गतिशक्ति मस्टर प्लान में गुजरात नोधपात्र योगदान आपसे वाप्रधान श्री नरेन्द्र भाई मार्गदर्शन परिणाम गुजरात पॉलिसी ड्रीवन स्टेट बनी उभरी आयु गुजराते तम नेतृत्व में विविध पॉलिसीज निर्माण कर सफल अमलीकरण कराजेतर में राज्य सरकार सैमी कंडक्टर पॉलिसी जाहिर करी है ड्रॉन पॉलिसी इलेक्ट्रिक वेहीकल पॉलिसी बायोटेक्निकोलॉजी पॉलिसी आई टी एंड आई टी एस पॉलिसी सोलार पॉलिसी जी अनेक बिजनेस फ्रेंडली नीतिओ अ घड़ी है भारत की आज़ादी ने पंचोतेर वर्ष पूरा थे देश तना अमृत काल में प्रवेशी चूको है वाप्रधानशीए भारत ने आगामी पच्चीस वर्ष में विश्वन विकसित राष्ट्र बना निर्धार कर आ प्रकार की इन्वेस्टमेंट राउंड टेबल कॉन्फरन्स गुजरात सहित देश में इंडस्ट्रीअल कॉरिडोर विकास और मूड़ी रोकाण ला खूबज उपयोगी निवड़े सौ उद्योग रोकाणकारों ने 
गुजरात में आई अंज अहीना ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस की प्रत्यक्ष अनुभूति करने अमरु आमंत्रण है आव सौ साथ मिली ने गुजरात भारत विकास और प्रगति में योगदान आप अभ्यर्थना भारत माता की जय वंदे मातरम जय जय गर्वी गुजरात माननीय मुख्यमंत्री श्री आपना प्रोत्साहनपूर्ण शब्दों आपको खूब खूब आभार है नाउ विथ अटमोस्ट रिस्पेक्ट एंड डिग्निटी आई वेलकम श्री पीयूष गोयल जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री कंज्यूमर अफेर्स एंड फूड एंड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड टेक्सटाइल्स टू डिलीवर हिज ऑगस्ट एड्रेस ओवर टू यू सर गुजरात के लोकप्रिय मुख्यमंत्री मेरे बड़े भाई मान्य श्री भूपेंद्र भाई पटेल जी मेरे मित्र श्री विश्वकर्मा जी जो उद्योग का क्षेत्र गुजरात में बहुखूबी देख रहे हैं केंद्र सरकार में स्पेशल सचिव के रूप में गतिशक्ति भी और इंडस्ट्रियल पार्क्स का काम देखने वाले मेरे सहयोगी मान्य अमृतलाल मीना जी गुजरात के एडिशनल सेक्रे सेक्रेटरी चीफ एडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी श्री राजकुमार जी यहाँ पे इतनी बड़ी संख्या में उपस्थित उद्योग जगत से जुड़े हुए सभी जाने माने महानुभाव मीडिया के मित्रों भाइयों और बहनों मेरे लिए बड़ा सौभाग्य का दिन है कि जन्माष्टमी अभी अभी कल हमने सबने बड़े उत्साह बड़े उमंग के साथ मनाई है और गुजरात की तो जन्माष्टमी कुछ अलग ही विशेष रहती है भगवान कृष्ण का और गुजरात का तो नाता ही कुछ विशेष है मुझे लगता है भूपेंद्र भाई अगली बार मुझे द्वारका जरूर बुलाइएगा जन्माष्टमी के टाइम पर आप सबको जन्माष्टमी के शुभ अवसर पर बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं आपके आपके परिवारों को भगवान बहुत ही समृद्धि दे बहुत ही अच्छा भविष्य दे साथ ही साथ मैं गुजरात के सभी लोगों को बधाई भी देना चाहूँगा जिस प्रकार से आज़ादी का अमृत महोत्सव गुजरात में मनाया गया मैं समझता हूँ शायद ही कोई घर रहा होगा शायद ही कोई फैक्ट्री दुकान दफ्तर रहा होगा जहाँ पे हमारा प्यारा तिरंगा नहीं फैला रहा था और जिस उत्साह और उमंग के साथ ये आज़ादी का अमृत महोत्सव पूरे देश ने माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में मनाया इसका जो संदेश पूरे विश्व में गया है भारत की एकता का भारत के एकजुटता का भारत के आने वाले भविष्य में किस प्रकार से विश्व शक्ति बनने का संकल्प और मजबूत हुआ है जो पांच प्रण माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने लाल किले के प्राचीर से इस देश को दिए हैं मैं समझता हूं अब दुनिया की कोई ताकत भारत को विकसित देश बनने से रोक नहीं सकती और उस विकसित देश के निर्माण में आप सब भाइयों बहनों का बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहेगा और आने वाले अमृत काल में जब हम अगले 25 वर्ष की कल्पना करें मैं समझता हूं उद्योग जगत उद्योग से जुड़े हुए पूरा इकोसिस्टम और प्रगतिशील प्रदेश गुजरात जैसे ये एक बहुत अहम भूमिका निभाएंगे भारत के अमृतकाल में और भारत को विकसित बनाने में प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी का तो आप सबका सानिध्य शायद मेरे से भी ज़्यादा लंबा रहा है आप सबका सौभाग्य रहा है कि गत दो से अधिक दशकों से मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी का आशीर्वाद उनका मार्गदर्शन उनका आप सबके साथ मिलना जुलना रहने के कारण मैं समझता हूँ गुजरात बहुत भाग्यशाली रहा है यहाँ की जो अलग अलग नीतियाँ हैं यहाँ पे जिस प्रकार से 
इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप हुआ जिस प्रकार से अलग अलग उद्योग जगत के साथ नीतियाँ बनी अभी अभी जगदीश भाई पोर्ट्स के बारे में बता रहे थे आखिर ये अधिकांश इन पोर्ट्स का जो प्रगति हुई वो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के कार्यकाल में हुई जब वो यहाँ पे कारोबार यहाँ के सरकार चलाते थे जिस प्रकार से यहाँ पे अलग अलग उद्योग नीतियाँ आई जिस प्रकार से अभी अभी मान्य मुख्यमंत्री श्री ने बताया अभी सेमाई कंडक्टर की पॉलिसी शायद देश में और कोई प्रदेश की इतनी एडवांस्ड इतनी मॉडर्न और इतनी प्रोग्रेसिव पॉलिसी सेमाई कंडक्टर की आज तक किसी ने नहीं निकाली आईटी आईटी ये क्षेत्र में भी अब गुजरात इस नई पॉलिसी के साथ मेरा मानना है बहुत तेज गति से विकास करेगा ऐसे ही जो अलग अलग इंडस्ट्रियल पार्क्स की कल्पना गुजरात ने की है हाल में ही टेक्सटाइल के लिए भी मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में हमने सात मेगा टेक्सटाइल पार्क पीएम मित्र स्कीम द्वारा मंजूर करने का जब निर्णय लिया तो जो गुजरात का प्रपोजल आया वो मैं समझता हूँ पूरे देश में सभी प्रपोजल्स को और हमने बड़े बिना कोई भेदभाव के बड़े क्लिनिकली अधिकारियों ने उसको असेस किया टेक्सटाइल मिनिस्ट्री के अधिकारियों ने उसको बड़े प्रोफेशनली अलग अलग मापदंड पे उसको जब सभी सातों कुछ करीब तेरह प्रपोजल आए थे जिसमें से हमें सात चुनने हैं सबको असेस किया तो जो नवसारी का प्रपोजल था गुजरात का वो नंबर वन रैंकिंग में आया इट वॉज द बेस्ट प्रपोजल अब मैं मेरे पास वो अधिकार तो है नहीं कि मैं आज अनाउंस कर सकूं पर इसका अंदाजा आप लगा सकते हैं कि अगर गुजरात का प्रपोजल इतना अच्छा आया तो वो दर्शाता है कैसे गुजरात तेज गति से अलग अलग क्षेत्र में विकास करने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है विकास करने का काम कर रहा है धोलेरा की बात देखें तो धोलेरा में सिर्फ मात्र अब जो डेवलपमेंट हुआ है गुजरात ने वो कल्पना लेके काम नहीं किया लगभग 22 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर का क्षेत्रफल पूरा एक आगे का दो तीन दशकों तक कैसे धोलेरा में विकास हो सके उसकी कल्पना को लेके ये पहला चरण गुजरा धोलेरा का अब चालू हुआ है इसके लिए भी अब नया नेशनल हाईवे बन रहा है छः लेन का जो अहमदाबाद से धोलेरा को कनेक्ट करेगा एक अंतर्राष्ट्रीय एयरपोर्ट का काम भी बहुत तेज गति से धोलेरा में चल रहा है शायद 2024 में दोनों ये प्रोजेक्ट्स शुरू हो जाएंगे और धोलेरा में अप, अपने आप से जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की प्लानिंग हुई है जो मैं बाहर देख भी रहा था जिस प्रकार से हर एक यूटिलिटी पहले से पर्याप्त मात्रा में चाहे बिजली हो पानी हो वाटर रिसाइकल करके यूज करना हो कॉमन एफ्रूएंट ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट हो प्लांट सिटी के रूप में जो धोलेरा की कल्पना की गई है मैं बधाई देना चाहूँगा भूपेंद्र भाई आपको जगदीश भाई आपको और आपकी पूरी टीम को इस दूरदर्शी सोच के लिए और ये जो धोलेरा स्पेशल इन्वेस्टमेंट रीजन का मैं आगे विचार करता हूँ जिस प्रकार से मैं अगर एक थोड़ा बहुत भविष्य में क्रिस्टल गेज क्रिस्टल बॉल गेजिंग करूं तो क्लियरली आई कैन सी धोलेरा बिकमिंग वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स बिगेस्ट एंड बेस्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रियल जोन्स और uh, मुझे कोई संदेह नहीं है जिस प्रकार से गुजरात प्रगति कर रहा है धोलेरा उससे भी तेज गति से आगे चल के प्रगति करेगा मुझे बताया गया है कि शायद शायद ये विश्व का पहला प्लैटिनम रेटेड इंडस्ट्रियल पार्क बनेगा अपने आप में ये भी आप सबके लिए बहुत खुशी की बात है और मैं समझता हूँ चाहे वो ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस हो कॉस्ट ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस हो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग को कंपेटिटिव करने के लिए इकोसिस्टम को सरल बनाने की बात हो हर एक विषय में गुजरात 
बहुत तेज गति से प्रगति कर रहे हैं हाल में ही हमने हम रेगुलरली स्टेट्स की स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम की भी रैंकिंग करते हैं उसमें भी गुजरात टॉप ऑनर्स के साथ निकला था साथ ही साथ जब हम गुजरात के बारे में देखते हैं तो एक एक गुजरात के धरती में ही कुछ कमाल है और गुजरात के लोगों में एक जो एंटरप्रेनरियल स्पिरिट है जो एक उद्यमिता के प्रति एक लगाव है उससे भी मैं समझता हूं कि गुजरात का भविष्य बहुत उज्जवल है जो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी की दूरदर्शी सोच है कि हम साइलोस तोड़ के डिपार्टमेंटल डिविजन्स तोड़ के एक होलिस्टिक और कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव रूप में देश के विकास की कल्पना करें उसका अगर कोई पृष्ठभूमि कोई एक तरीके से टेस्ट लैब है तो वो गुजरात है गुजरात में कोई उद्योग लगाना चाहे कोई नया काम शुरू करना चाहे कोई यहाँ के रहना चाहे उसको अच्छे मकान भी मिलेंगे उसको अच्छी इकोसिस्टम मिलेगी उद्योग लगाने के लिए स्पीडी डिस्पोजल ऑफ ऑल एप्लीकेशंस मिलेंगे लगभग हर एक चीज़ ऑनलाइन मिलेगी मैंने सुना है माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी के यहाँ जो डैशबोर्ड है वो अपने आप में एक इट्स इट्स अ यूनिक डैशबोर्ड ही कैन लिटरली मॉनिटर राइट डाउन टू द लास्ट पंचायत एवरी एक्टिविटी दैट इज हैपनिंग इन द स्टेट कंप्लीट ऑनलाइन सिस्टम के माध्यम से ट्रांसपेरेंसी भी है और रेगुलर मॉनिटरिंग भी है और आप सब उद्योग जगत के लोग जानते हैं कि मैनेजमेंट का बेसिक प्रिंसिपल अगर हमें सक्सेसफुल होना है तो हमें इफेक्टिव मॉनिटरिंग करना पड़ता है काम का और रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी uh, एलोकेट करनी पड़ती है जवाबदेही अगर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन मिले तो कोई ताकत दुनिया की हमारे बिजनेस को हमारे व्यापार को और वैसे ही हमारे राज्य को कोई भी प्रकार की दिक्कत नहीं आने दे सकती प्रधानमंत्री जी के दूरदर्शी सोच जो एक तरीके से उन्होंने गुजरात में मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में एक प्रयोगशाला भी की थी गुजरात में काम भी किया था इस दृष्टिकोण से और अब पूरे देश को उसका लाभ हो रहा है वो है प्रधानमंत्री गति शक्ति नेशनल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर मास्टर प्लान मैं समझता हूँ ये एक अद्भुत सोच है लगभग हजार के करीब अलग अलग जियो स्पेशल मैप्स बना के देश के जो भी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स हैं जो भी आज देश की फॉरेस्ट uh, हैं वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज हैं हाईवे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है रेलवे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पावर प्लांट्स हैं इंडस्ट्रियल जोन्स हैं इन सब का लगभग नौ के करीब मैप्स बने हैं इसके साथ साथ राज्यों के भी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के मैप्स उसमें इंटीग्रेट किए जा रहे हैं लगभग साढ़े चार सौ के करीब लास्ट काउंट में राज्यों के भी ऐसे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का डेटा इसमें मैप किया गया है और अब देश की इस पूरी मैपिंग को करने के बाद यहाँ पे ही आपके गुजरात में स्थित है एक बाइजैक जो जीआईएस का काम करती है स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी का इस्तेमाल करके स्पेशल मैपिंग द्वारा इन उसी ने ये गतिशक्ति का मास्टर प्लान इसकी टेक्नोलॉजी बनाई है और ये सब मैप्स एक प्रकार से एक दूसरे के साथ इंटरकनेक्टेड है अगर साधारण भाषा में बोलूं तो दे टॉक टू ईच अदर ना अब कोई मीडिया का मित्र ये ना समझे कि वो वास्तव में बात करते हैं एक दूसरे के साथ दे टॉक टू ईच अदर इन द सेंस दे आर ऑल इंटरकनेक्टेड और उसके कारण जो फ्यूचर में इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप होगा भारत का वो बड़े प्लान तरीके से होगा उसमें एक छोटा उदाहरण लूं तो वैसे तो आपने सुना है कि एक रोड बनती है नई रोड बनती है फिर तोड़ी जाती है वाटर पाइपलाइन लगाने के लिए फिर तोड़ी जाती है इलेक्ट्रिक लाइन डालने के लिए फिर कभी तोड़ी जाती है टेलीकॉम केबल के लिए ऑल ऑफ दिस विल बी हिस्ट्री ये इतिहास में चले जाएंगे अब जब कोई रोड बनेगी कोई हाईवे बनेगा तो पहले से ही प्लान किया जाएगा कि कोई रेलवे लाइन आ रही है तो उसका ओवरब्रिज भी साथ में बने 
कोई फॉरेस्ट टच कर रहा है तो भाई इसको थोड़ा रूट डाइवर्ट कर दो कि फॉरेस्ट की वजह से प्रोजेक्ट को डिले नहीं होगी कोई वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी आ रही है तो उसको भी स्कर्ट कर देंगे कोई रिवर आ रहा है कोई नदी आ रही है तो देख सकते हैं कि भाई कौन सा बेस्ट स्पॉट है जहाँ छोटे डिस्टेंस का आपको पुल बनाना पड़े तो थोड़ा सा रियलाइनमेंट करके चाहे रेलवे लाइन हो चाहे पावर की ट्रांसमिशन लाइन हो चाहे कोई हाईवे बन रहा हो ये सब चीज़ें और इफेक्टिवली प्लान की जा सकती हैं जिससे टाइम एंड कॉस्ट ओवररन नहीं होगा समय पे प्रोजेक्ट्स लगाए जाएंगे और इस सब का लाभ अल्टीमेटली भारत की जनता को मिलेगा आप सबको मिलेगा आखिर अगर कोई इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर या सरकारी प्रोजेक्ट डिले होता है तो टैक्स पेयर के पैसे का ही तो दुरुपयोग होता है उससे और अगर कोई प्रोजेक्ट टाइम पे लगता है तो उसके यूजर चार्जेस उसका डेवलपमेंट कॉस्ट सब कुछ संतुलित रहने के कारण भारत का कंपेटिटिवनेस सुधरती है और मैं समझता हूं कि प्रधानमंत्री गतिशक्ति जो योजना है ये शायद विश्व में पहली बार ऐसी कुछ चीज तैयार की गई है और आज पूरे विश्व में बहुत इंक्विजिटिवनेस है इसके बारे में जानकारी लेने की ऐसे ही एक नेशनल सिंगल विंडो बनाई गई है जिसमें सभी राज्यों को भी जोड़ा जा रहा है कि जो भी किसी भी प्रकार की अप्रूवल्स इंडस्ट्री को लगती है उसके लिए एक ही जगह पे आपको जाना पड़े केंद्र की अप्रूवल हो स्टेट की अप्रूवल हो और आगे चल के हम कोशिश करेंगे कि लोकल बो, लोकल बॉडीज की भी अप्रूवल उसी सिंगल विंडो से आए और मैं तो चाहूँगा कि आप सब उद्योग जगत के मित्र अगर ये नेशनल सिंगल विंडो पे अपने अपने अप्रूवल्स देने का काम शुरू करें तो हमें दो तीन लाभ होंगे उसमें और एक प्रकार से आप हमारे आगे के काम को भी और अच्छा बनाएंगे एक तो जब आप उसको इस्तेमाल करेंगे तो अगर उसमें कुछ गलतियां रह गई कुछ त्रुटियां हैं अगर कोई डिफिकल्टी आपको महसूस होती है तो आप हमें फीडबैक देंगे तो हम सुधार सकेंगे अगर कोई अप्रूवल उस पर आप नहीं है और आपको वो अप्रूवल भी लगता है आप हमें जानकारी दें तो हम उसको ऐड कर सकेंगे अगर उस अप्रूवल प्रोसेस में आपको किसी प्रकार की कठिनाई आई या किसी प्रकार के अफसरशाही में आपको तकलीफ आई किसने आपको तंग किया वैसे तो ऑनलाइन होने के कारण तंग करने की संभावना हम एलिमिनेट कर रहे हैं लेकिन फिर भी अगर कोई डिस्क्रिपेंसी हुई आपकी एप्लीकेशन में किसी ने आपसे संपर्क किया किसी ने कोई गलत काम करने की कोशिश की और ये देश भर में लागू किया गया तो हम उस पर भी रोक लगा पाएंगे और जो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने लाल किले से कहा था जिस प्रकार से गुजरात में हम भ्रष्टाचार मुक्त सरकार दे पाए हैं जिस प्रकार से आज केंद्र में भ्रष्टाचार मुक्त सरकार का लाभ पूरे देश को मिल रहा है हम चाहेंगे कि देश भर में भ्रष्टाचार मुक्त साधारण व्यक्ति के जीवन में हर एक विषय जनता को उपलब्ध हो जिसको माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ईज ऑफ लिविंग कहते हैं कि भारत के 130 करोड़ लोगों को ईज ऑफ लिविंग मिलनी चाहिए उसको हर एक सुविधा डोर स्टेप पे मिले सरल तरीके से मिले उसके लिए उद्योग को यही लाभ ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस के माध्यम से प्रधानमंत्री जी ने फोकस किया है लगभग तीस हजार के करीब कंप्लायसेस को सरल किया कई कंप्लायसेस को एलिमिनेट किया है लगभग दो हजार कानून को समाप्त किया हर एक कानून को राज्यों में भी और केंद्र में भी हम गहराई से देख रहे हैं कि कहां कहां डिक्रिमिनलाइज किया जा सके जिससे लोगों को एक चिंता नहीं रहे कि छोटी मोटी गलतियों के लिए उनके ऊपर कानूनी तकलीफ आएगी या कोई जेल डाल सके और उद्योग करने वाले व्यक्ति को व्यापार करने वाले व्यक्ति को एक रात को चैन की नींद सोने को मिले बिना कोई टेंशन के बिना कोई चिंता के उस दृष्टिकोण से प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में केंद्र सरकार राज्य सरकार सभी काम कर रहे हैं मेरा विश्वास है जैसे आज पिछहत्तर भारत में स्टार्टअप्स 
हमारे विभाग में रजिस्टर हुए हैं पिछहत्तरवे आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव में पिछहत्तर हजार लेकिन जिस तेज गति से आए हैं ये पिछहत्तर हजार मात्र छह साल में नए स्टार्टअप्स नई टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ इनोवेटिव आइडियाज के साथ देश में चालू हुए हैं तैयार हुए हैं लाखों युवा युवती इसमें जुड़े हैं लाखों लोगों को रोजगार मिल रहे हैं इससे इकोसिस्टम बढ़ रहा है जिससे बड़ी मात्रा में काम के अवसर बढ़ रहे हैं मैं समझता हूं ये सभी जो काम किए जा रहे हैं ये एक प्रकार से देश को एक औद्योगिक शक्ति बनाने के लिए अहम भूमिका करेंगे और उसी श्रेणी में धोलेरा जिसकी कई सारी जानकारियां आज अधिकारियों ने भी दी मान्य जगदीश भाई ने भी उसका जिक्र किया और जो मेरे दृष्टिकोण से जिस प्रकार से प्लैटिनम रेटेड ग्रीनफील्ड स्मार्ट सिटी विश्व की पहली बनने जा रही है वो एक मिसाल बनेगी आगे आने वाले दिनों में अलग अलग राज्य धोलेरा अपनी टीम भेजेंगे देखने के लिए कि इसमें कैसे इतना चमत्कारी काम हुआ है कैलाश जी भी यहाँ बैठे हैं इन्होंने तो शायद पहले दिन से धोलेरा के साथ आप जुड़े रहे हो राइट फ्रॉम द प्लानिंग स्टेज द इनिशियल स्टेज ऑफ लैंड एक्विजिशन मैं आपको भी बधाई देना चाहूंगा और सभी गुजरात के अधिकारी बधाई के पात्र हैं जिन्होंने ये इकोसिस्टम क्रिएट किया कि आज देश और विश्व से लोग भारत में आके और गुजरात में विशेषकर आके काम करना चाहते हैं मुझे बताया गया सेमाई कंडक्टर की भी कई टीम्स ऑलरेडी यहाँ पे इंटरनेशनल टीम्स आके गई हैं कि हम यहाँ पे अपना सेमाई कंडक्टर फैक्ट्री लगाना चाहते हैं तो मैं समझता हूं आगे आने वाले दिन बहुत ही आप सब खुश नसीब है कि गुजरात जैसे विकास से प्रेरित प्रदेश में हैं उद्योग कर रहे हैं और नए लोग गुजरात आके अपना व्यापार करें अपना उद्योग लगाएं उसके लिए धोलेरा जैसी स्मार्ट सिटीज का बहुत बड़ा रोल रहेगा माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी और मैं अभी अभी चर्चा कर रहे थे शायद जल्द ही एक नई सरप्राइज और मुख्यमंत्री जी प्रदेश को देने जा रहे हैं एक मोस्ट मॉडर्न इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी जो माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी जिस पे काम कर रहे हैं वो भी इस प्रदेश में जल्दी आने जा रही है इसी प्रकार से माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी का मुझे आदेश था कि एक एक्सपोर्ट के दृष्टिकोण से निर्यात कैसे गुजरात से और बढ़े वैसे शायद देश का सबसे अधिकांश जिन दो तीन प्रदेशों से निर्यात होता है वो आज भी गुजरात है पर इसको कैसे और तेज गति से बढ़ाए क्योंकि हम सब जानते हैं कि अगर विश्व में देखें तो विकसित देश अंतर्राष्ट्रीय बाजार में जब अपना माल भेजते हैं जब इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड में अपना शेयर बढ़ाते हैं तभी देश विकसित होते हैं तो आगे आने वाले दिनों में हम एक डेट तय करेंगे जिसमें निर्यात के ऊपर फोकस्ड एक आप सबके साथ और पूरे प्रदेश के उद्योग और व्यापार जगत से लोगों के साथ एंगेज करेंगे निर्यात के क्षेत्र में क्या करना चाहिए केंद्र ने राज्य ने किस प्रकार से हम आपको सहयोग कर सकते हैं कि निर्यात भी देश का तेज गति से बढ़े माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के मार्गदर्शन से और उनके उनकी निगरानी में बहुत क्लोज मॉनिटरिंग करके 200 सौ मिशन विश्व भर में जो भारत के हैं उनके साथ एंगेज करके और ऑफ कोर्स उद्योग जगत का तो सबसे बड़ा रोल रहा पिछले वर्ष 50 लाख करोड़ का निर्यात भारत से हुआ विच इज एन ऑल टाइम हाई इट्स अ रिकॉर्ड सिक्स बिलियन डॉलर अब हम कल्पना कर रहे हैं कि आने वाले सात आठ सालों में इसको 675 को बढ़ा के हमको दो ट्रिलियन डॉलर तक भारत का निर्यात करना है एक ट्रिलियन डॉलर यानी पिछहत्तर अस्सी लाख करोड़ सर्विसेज में सेवा क्षेत्र में और पिछहत्तर अस्सी लाख करोड़ गुड्स का एक्सपोर्ट मर्चेंडाइज एक्सपोर्ट अब ये बड़ा लक्ष्य है डेढ़ सौ लाख करोड़ यानी तीन गुना आज के एक्सपोर्ट को हमें बढ़ाना है और उसके लिए मैं आप सबका सहयोग भी चाहूंगा आप सबका 
इन्वॉल्वमेंट आप सबका एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन और उसके लिए राज्य और केंद्र सरकार जो आवश्यक हो करने के लिए तैयार है हम तट पर हैं लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट को भी कम करने के लिए तेज गति से काम चल रहा है नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक्स पॉलिसी भी जल्दी आने वाली है फ्री ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट्स के लिए माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी बहुत फोकस्ड काम कर रहे हैं आपने सुना होगा उनके नेतृत्व में मात्र 88 डेज में 88 दिन में भारत और यूएई के बीच फ्री ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट हुआ दुनिया का पूरी दुनिया का फास्टेस्ट अगर कोई एफटीए बना है तो भारत और यूएई के बीच ओनली इन 88 डेज ऐसे ही प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में ऑस्ट्रेलिया और भारत के बीच भी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इकोनॉमिक पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट हुआ जिसको इंडस एकता के नाम से हमने करार दिया है इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एंड ट्रेड इन एग्रीमेंट मैं समझता हूं वास्तव में विकसित देशों के साथ भारत एकता के संबंध बढ़ाए यूनिटी बढ़ाए वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में प्रचलित हो गया इंडस यूनिटी एग्रीमेंट दे कॉल इट द यूनिटी एग्रीमेंट तो मैं समझता हूं माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जो बात देश के समक्ष रखी थी जो पांच प्रण रखे थे उसमें एकता और एकजुटता का भी एक प्रण रखा था ये एकता और एकजुटता भारत में तो एक प्रकार से हर घर तिरंगा के साथ प्रधानमंत्री जी ने विश्व को संदेश दिया ही है लेकिन साथ ही साथ जो विश्व में प्रधानमंत्री जी की बढ़ती हुई छवि है आज अगर आप विश्व की लीडर्स के लिस्ट देखें तो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी एकदम वन ऑफ द टॉलेस्ट लीडर्स इन द वर्ल्ड टुडे मेरा तो सौभाग्य है कई इंटरनेशनल एंगेजमेंट्स में प्रधानमंत्री जी के साथ जब हम रहते हैं वो देखने वाला दृश्य होता है और आज नहीं मैं ये छह सात साल से अनुभव कर रहा हूं चाहे वो 2015 में पेरिस का कॉप ट्वेंटी एग्रीमेंट का जो कॉन्फ्रेंस थी क्लाइमेट चेंज की जिसमें प्रधानमंत्री जी वॉज द हीरो ऑफ दैट कॉन्फ्रेंस ऐसे ही हाल में जब जी ट्वेंटी की मीटिंग हुई रोम में मैं आपको कल्पना नहीं दे सकता हूं किस प्रकार से एक के बाद एक विश्व का नेता प्रधानमंत्री जी से चर्चा वार्तालाप करने के लिए उत्साहित था और जी सेवन की मीटिंग का जो अभी अभी हुई है कुछ महीने पहले उसका तो आपने फोटोज और दृश्य देखा ही कैसे प्रधानमंत्री जी के के नेतृत्व को और वास्तव में हम जी सेवन के मेंबर्स ना होते हुए प्रधानमंत्री जी को विशेष निमंत्रित किया और लगभग आज माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी का नेतृत्व तो पूरा विश्व स्वीकार करता है और मैं समझता हूं हम सबका सौभाग्य है कि उनके नेतृत्व में भारत इसी हफ्ते अमृत काल में प्रवेश कर रहे अगले आने वाले 25 वर्ष विल बी द डिफाइनिंग मोमेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया प्रोग्रेस एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी आगे आने वाले अमृत काल में हम सब एकजुट होकर एक साथ भारत को विकसित देश बनाने का संकल्प लें सब एक साथ काम करें और मेरा विश्वास है कि दो में 2047 जब भारत आजादी का 100 वर्ष मनाएगा तब जो दिशा माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी देश को दे रहे हैं जो नेतृत्व निर्णायक नेतृत्व प्रधानमंत्री जी देश को दे रहे हैं इस नेतृत्व के साथ साथ भारत और भारत के 130 करोड़ लोग हर भारतवासी एक विकसित देश का नागरिक होगा और उसके जीवन में उल्लास उमंग और उत्साह की कोई कमी नहीं होगी वी विल एंटर इनटू आर स्टेज ऑफ प्रोस्पेरिटी इनटू द इरा ऑफ प्रोस्पेरिटी प्रोस्पेरिटी फॉर 130 थर्टी करोड़ इंडियंस हर भारतवासी इस प्रोस्पेरिटी का अंग होगा हर भारतवासी एक विकास के साथ अपने आप को जोड़ेगा तो जैसे प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा 130 करोड़ कदम भारत आगे बढ़ेगा और भारत का हर 
देशवासी विकास के साथ अपने जीवन में भी उमंग उल्लास के साथ आगे एक अच्छा भविष्य देखेगा मैं पुनः एक बार भूपेंद्र भाई का जगदीश भाई का तय दिल से धन्यवाद करता हूं आपने अपना समय भी दिया इस कार्यक्रम के लिए और हम सबको एक धोलेरा के लिए जो आपका आशीर्वाद रहता है जो सहयोग रहता है उसके साथ साथ मेरा विश्वास है कि ये आगे चल के देश का सबसे विकसित सबसे प्रोग्रेसिव स्पेशल इंडस्ट्रियल पार्क और स्मार्ट सिटी बनेगी आप सबका आज आने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं नमस्कार माननीय केंद्रीय मंत्री श्री पीयूष गोयल जी आपकी उपस्थिति और आपके उत्साहपूर्ण संबोधन के लिए हम सभी का आपकी ओर आभार व्यक्त करते हैं आई वुड नाउ लाइक टू वेलकम मिस्टर हरिज शुक्ला एम डी डी आई सी डी एल टू एक्सटेंड दर ऑफ थैंक्स सर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ एन आई सी डी सी बी एड एस आई आर एंड गवर्नमेंट गुजरात आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज कम टू डे फॉर दिस राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस especially i would like to thank honorable minister shri piyush goel ji i remember sir in your first conference in delhi you had given us certain targets i can assure you that we are well on track to fulfill those targets and we will try our best to exceed those targets thank you very much for your presence sir honorable chief minister shri bupen patel ji have always been guiding us in his first meeting which he took after taking over as chief minister of gujarat dolera project was reviewed and he also visited dolera project after that i am very very thankful to him for all the guidance and constant encouragement that he has been giving us our honorable minister shri jagdish vishkarma sir we are thankful to you all the administrative leader including shri k kailash nathan sahab meena sir and rajkumar sahab we are thankful for their administrative support for taking this dolera project forward i also i'm thankful for all the investors ceos who have come from across the country all the dignitaries friends from media all the association chambers fiki uh, asocham uh, all the people who have uh, come on our invitation and uh, took part in this round table conference in the end i would like to really extend a warm welcome to all of you if you have not visited dolera in last 3 to 6 months i would be very very keen to host of all of you thank you once again for joining this conference thank you Thank you very much sir for your warm word of thanks and I would like to thank all the august uh, the investors who have any questions our manya mantri shri kendriya mantri shri will be staying back over the lunch over here I to just, I will just see the chief minister off and then I'll join all of you for lunch and uh, if you have any questions queries anything I'd love to hear from you Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And we thank uh, Honorable Chief Minister, sir of Gujarat, for his august presence over here. I request everyone to be kindly seated in the hall itself.